Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you missed my last video, it was my first ever time birding in Southwest Utah and I saw so many cool birds. Well, this video, I'm continuing that journey onto the day after. So this is part two of Southwest Utah birding. While I'm out here just to enjoy the birding day, I of course am trying to see the remaining four species in my Birds of Utah challenge, where I try to see every single bird in this field guide. Come along and let's see what we find. Good morning, welcome to day two of the Southwest Utah road trip. I am up at sunrise. I mean, just look at that. Utah is so stunning sometimes. I'm excited to hit a few hot spots today before I head back to Salt Lake. Maybe get a couple new birds on my life list. If you missed yesterday's video, I highly recommend you go check that out. I'm about to spoil a couple of the species we saw, so I'm gonna give you one second. All right, so we hit three of the four species we were looking for on the Southwest Utah road trip distracted by birds. We hit three of the four species we were trying to see on the Southwest Utah road trip. We got the canyon wren, the gambles quail, and the bush tit. We have not seen a pinion jay yet. Now, I don't think this is the best place to see pinion jay, but I just had to stop here. There's tons of waterfall. I'm gonna get out and go film. Looks like mostly coot, but we'll see what we can find out in the water. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm at Sand Hollow State Park, if I didn't say that yet. One of Utah's best state parks with a huge reservoir for boating, cliff jumping, fishing, all kinds of water activities. So let's get out there and do some birding. Mostly just coot out in the water. I saw two gulls as well and picked up a great tailed grackle in the parking lot. I'm gonna check out some of these trees around here now though, just in case there's some songbirds or something. But I imagine Sand Hollow would mostly be for shorebirds and waterfowl. So let's check these out quick. Right, I'm hitting about the end of the road here. It says authorized vehicles can only continue on. I've just seen so many American coot, it's unreal. This was a great sunrise stop. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and then we're gonna hit the Tonakeen Nature Center in St. George. So stick around, let's head that way now. As I said I was gonna wrap up, I came across a couple cool birds, of course. Hopping around in the bushes here is a Buick's wren, not a species I get on camera very often, so I was really happy to see that. And then I caught a loggerhead shrike sitting atop of a branch, surveying the grassland area around. Super cool species to add to my list for the day. Now, if you didn't know, one of the big draws to Sand Hollow is all of the trails and areas to ride UTVs and ATVs, four wheelers and such. As I was leaving, I passed an area where it looked like they were actually setting up some sort of race course. Really interesting. A quick pit stop. Really craving a breakfast burrito. I don't usually eat fast food, but I think this is gonna hit today. All right, I've arrived at the Tonakeet Nature Center hotspot. It sounds like a beautiful area. There's so much vegetation around. So let's get out there and check out if we can find any sweet birds. Ha <laughs> ha 
71 mallard I counted. That is so many. There was also an American wedge in the middle of the pond and then an R stamped hooded merganser. I was pretty surprised to see that one. So that's super sweet to get on the list. Down in southwest Utah, they have some different species of hummingbirds. So when I saw this one up in the tree, I was excited. I got a better look at it, and I'm pretty sure this is my life for Anna's hummingbird. This has definitely been my favorite hotspot of the trip so far. A really cool variety of birds. The bush tit, we're just in a group. They're so fun to watch. They just move from tree to tree to tree and tree and they just don't stop. They're looking for every little piece of food they can and then on to the next one. I also picked up two hummingbirds. Not exactly sure what species since I'm not familiar with the ones down here. They do get some of the same hummingbirds that we do up in Salt Lake, but there's also potential for like Anna's hummingbird, Costa's hummingbird maybe Allen's. I'm not totally sure if those get into the area, so I'm gonna have to look back at the footage and figure out what those are. And then I just heard a black Phoebe too, which would be a lifer for me, but it stopped calling, so I'm hoping it's around here somewhere. But yeah, I'm having a really good time. I'm gonna hang out for a bit, see if I can pick up a few more lifers. Wow, today was a ton of fun. I just spent so much time in this nature center. I would just sit down and wait with my camera for birds to come around. Thank you as always for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed the Southwest trip overall. I will see you in the next one.